again, YouTube. We're back on Free Code Camp doing JavaScript algos and data structures on the regular expressions course, and we are on challenge 14 of 33. So today, we're going to find characters with lazy matching. So, per usual, always read all of this and do your best to understand this and play with the code. Uh, if they give you some examples, try and implement those examples if you're not understanding and try and figure it out yourself and then always reference this if you're not understanding still and try and understand what they're asking you and then worst case come to this video and have me break it down for you so what this lesson is explaining i'm not going to read all of this but what it's basically saying here is that there's a different there's two different ways to match with regex with this match method there's one the default, which is known as a greedy match, and then there's the alternative, which is known as a lazy match. So in the previous lessons, we learned about the star character and how we can use the star character to select zero or more of whatever came before it. So it's it matches whatever came before it if there's zero of them or more. So this expression here, as we see it, we know the forward slash opening and closing syntax. It's looking for a T that is followed by any letter, A through Z, zero of them or more. So it's basically saying a T and a letter or not, optional. It can have another letter or it cannot. And then it has to end in an I. That's all this expression is saying. Look for a match that starts with T, has any number of letters between it, zero or more and ends in I, okay? So if we called that on this string Titanic, the regex pattern looks for a T and needs to end with an I and can have some letters in between, okay? So that's what the expression is looking for. When we call it on this Titanic, this expression, we would by default get a greedy response. So the match method would return to us this array with the string Titani in it okay so, but you can see why it did that because it's greedy and it's trying to find as many characters that match as possible so start with the T any number of characters end with an I so out of the Titanic string starts at the T keeps going ends at this final I because that's the most number of characters it can grab while still matching that condition so we get Titani go figure However, we can use the question mark character to change it to lazy matching. So again, greedy matching just matches as many characters as possible. Lazy matching matches as few characters as possible. So again, the same example, T, any number of characters, A through Z, ending in I, but with the added question mark, the lazy loading or the lazy matching question mark, you can see out of the same string Titanic, it's going to return TI in an array. Why is it doing that? Well, with the string Titanic, the condition is starts with T, has any number of letters between it, zero or more. So again, zero or more, it doesn't have to have any letters between it, but it has to start with a T and it has to end with an I. And by the nature of lazy, because we're trying to select as small of a substring as possible, start at the T, the immediate next character is an I. So naturally, that's a match because, once again, one, first off, we're lazy matching, so it's going to grab the smallest one possible, but also what we just learned in the last lesson. This matches any character, specifically with the star, zero of them or more. So it's optional. There can be any letter between it, and there can be any number of letters between it, between it being the T and the I. That's the difference between lazy, and that's also in combination with the star character, which we just learned about in the last module, or the last challenge. Okay, so I hope that made sense. If it didn't, please leave a comment. I'll do my best to explain that. Sometimes it's easier to read it from like a different text explanation than this if it's not making sense. So what we have to do is fix this regex to return the HTML tag h1 and not the text in h1, winter is coming, h1. Remember the wildcard character, the period in a regular expression matches 
any character. Okay, that's good to know. So, this is the string, this is the expression, and once again, they actually completed the match function for us and stored the variable or the data that it returns in this result. Because this is the method, this is a function, so whatever this returns is now stored in this result. So all we have to do is change this regex so that it only selects, oops, it only selects this H1. Not the closing, just the opening, not the text, just the opening. Okay, so to do that, we can see that they started us off. Okay, so we're looking for a less than sign. And then we have the period here, which as we can, as it reminded us, it's a wildcard character that matches any character. And then we have the star, which matches zero or more of them. And then we have the closing greater than sign. Okay, so if we run this off the bat, it almost seems like this would work. The wildcard, so match any, zero or more. That seems like it would work to me, but clearly this is not what I want. So given this example, we can complete this. So we know that this is an H1 tag. So what am I looking for here? Well, really, I'm just looking for this opening bracket. And then I'm looking for any combination of letters and numbers. So I would say 0 through 9, as well as A through Z. And then we also want to grab all instances, or I'm sorry, 0 or more of them, and lazy. Okay, so that worked. I don't know if this is actually what they wanted. Um, I imagine there's probably a lot of solutions to this. We're using lazy matching, we're not including the string h1, so really this is a valid solution. But the logic that made this work here is that I know I'm looking for h1, that's what I have to capture, but maybe this is an h2, maybe it's an h5. Who knows? I just want the opening tag. So my regex targets the less than sign and then any combination of numbers and letters, zero or more of them. So really this would work on a P tag, an image tag, any tag this will work on. So it's gonna match any combination of letters and numbers, zero or more of them within the opening less than and the closing greater than sign. And then again, we did lazy matching specifically so it's only going to grab the minimum matches possible. So it's going to go to the H. It, well, it matches the less than sign. Then it goes to the H. Is H 0 through 9 or A through Z? Yes, it is. So keep it. 1 is 1, 0 through 9 or A through Z? Yes, it is. So keep it. And then the greater than. That's the end of the match. That's the end of the expression. That's all we're trying to find. So now that's the match. And that's result because once again this function is matching that with these variables and whatever this function returns is assigned to the result because a function call this function call is equal to whatever it returns which is stored in a result okay I say that in like every video but let's keep going and just console.log result and we can see, yes, we do in fact get an H1 element or an array with an H1 in it. This is all just free code camp uh, kind of behind the scenes stuff because we're console logging. But that was all we really had to do for this is add that. And yeah, I hope that made sense. I hope that helped. If once again, guys, if you have any issues, questions, concerns, please leave a comment and I'll do my best to get back to you directly. But besides that, hope that helped and I'll see you all in the next video.